Hello, you beautiful bunch. Welcome back to my channel. It's Karen. How are you? It feels so long from I have actually sat down and had a really good chatter with you guys. And after a whole month of Advent and stuff like that there, which we'll get to in a minute, I thought, right, okay, it's been too long. I have been reading all your lovely comments and stuff. So I just wanted to sit down and get a bit of a catch up. Sorry for the squeaky chair. Um, but anyways, how are you all? I hope you have all had and are having a wonderful Christmas. And then that kind of bit between Christmas and New Year where you sort of don't know where you are, what you're doing, what day it is, what time it is. It just sort of seems like the twilight zone. It's very, 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 very peculiar feel. But anyway, um, I just wanted to have a bit of a chatty video um, for a few reasons, just to give you guys a wee bit of an update on what's been going on um, and sort of, you know, what what's ahead and stuff like that there going into 2023. Um, just to say hi to you as well and also welcome some of the new subs as well that we have had, um, which is just amazing. So if you're new here, Thank you for joining us. It is the most lovely we community. And um, yeah, my name's Karen and I own a company in the UK here called Neil Sugar. It is my little baby. Um, it is a little tiny company. And um, yeah, I just, I love it. I love nail art. I've been a qualified nail tech since, I wanna say 2002 maybe so probably about 20 years I've been actually qualified tech and I initially qualified in acrylic and now I work with a hard gel. More on that in a bit. And uh, yeah, so just welcome aboard if you're new. Um, it is lovely to meet you. And if you are an oldie but goldie, hello, welcome back. It is always a pleasure to see you guys and get chatting. But anyway, let's like let's touch on the advent here first. Can I just say, oh my gosh, I never in a million years expected it to go so well. Um, it was a challenge. And do you know, guys, honestly, because it was done with obviously Kelly from Chronically Creative Nails and Natalie Mugridge as well, too, who is my brand ambassador for Nail Sugar. Um you know, Natalie's obviously, she does videos day in, day out. Kelly and I are kind of more sort of, you know, once a week kind of thing. So we don't do as many videos. And um, yeah, it was a challenge, um, but it was so much fun. And just seeing what the other girls, like, you know, were doing, not having any idea, not having a clue. Um, it was just such a surprise and sort of seeing each of our takes on them. Some of them were similar, some of them were not. Two of them I completely fluffed up on. Um, and I, I think I just had an absolute, just sort of like mind melt at those particular designs. But anyway, um, one was supposed to be, I think it was, in fact, I have the schedule up there. It was day five that was supposed to be a wreath and I done a garland instead. And then there was another day, I think it was pink. No, I think it was reindeer. And I ended up doing a penguin with her, uh, with, with a wee like sort of, uh, yeah. Anyway, we'll just leave that there. But it was fun. We had a giggle. We loved it. And we're going to do it next year again because it was just fantastic. We had so much fun. And reading all your lovely comments were just, I mean, it was just so uplifting. And honestly, guys, you know, because November, December was a bit of a challenging few months for me. Um... In so many ways, I'll get to that in a bit, fill you in on some of that stuff, but wow, it was just brilliant. So thank you if you've been watching the advent and have enjoyed it. We've had so much feedback and bizarrely enough on day 24, um, the very last, you know, our very last um, video, it felt really sad for me. I, I'm such a, I am really sensitive though. I'm quite an emotional, sensitive person. So endings are just awful for me. <laughs> Um, but I really loved it. I did. I, I I just, I loved it so much. And then it was quite sad. Sorry, by the way, if I sound a bit croaky, but my, um, I'm still going through a bit of a chest infection and we'll get to that. We'll get to that anyways. So the advent was brilliant. Really pleased with it. Um, so yeah, let's, 
let me jump in and tell you guys what all has been happening. So November, December time was a bit of a challenge, a bit of a bumpy ride um, at some point. And um, it started off bizarrely the week before Black Friday. And um, a very close family member was taken into hospital. And um, so that sort of, you know, put a sort of, put a different sort of spin on things. Um, so that worry going on. And then um, my uh, my hubby, he took really unwell too. He was off then, he, had, he was off work. He was, he was a lot more, he's usually, Steve's usually quite resilient. But he was just, yeah, he was just like no energy, was really sort of struggling in his chest and stuff. Just all that sort of stuff going about. They'd done tests for all sorts of things and um, I think it was really just sort of viral. So, um, but he took it and then my daughter took it as well too. Um, so the whole house was sort of just coming down with all this. Stock hadn't arrived because of um, the postal strikes, which have just been so super frustrating on so many levels and so stressful on so many levels um you know and it's really bizarre because you know obviously whenever you're running your business your only business and stuff like that there there's only so much that you can do you're trying to get you know um you can be as organized and as quick you know with everything you're around and just get it all out and done and boom um but once it's in the hands of you know of the postal or couriers i don't use couriers because i don't have any sort of dangerous goods or anything to ship um and so i use royal mail um but royal mail also do overflow for some couriers as well so the whole system anyway but it doesn't matter if you were courier royal mail whatever it was just all massively backlogged and it was just prog progressively getting worse and worse so um you know there's so many wee businesses that you know, it was just, and customers that were waiting. And honestly, you know, I mean, I know every cloud has a silver lining, but through this, I have, I mean, I have not had one customer, not one who has been rude or ignorant or demanding or, um, they have, everyone has been incredibly understanding. And in some cases, it has actually got us chatting and I've made some customers have became friends. So it's really strange over what has been a stressful situation for businesses and customers has actually brought people that wee bit closer. Um, still lots of backlogs from November. Um, I'm still waiting on lots of stock. And um, yeah, so it's just, what can you do? And I think this, this stress off it and stuff like that, it was just immense, but hey ho, you know, we, um, yeah, we just got to keep moving with it and uh, it, it will all sort itself out, you know, um, yeah, sort of come to that realisation. But November, December were definitely sort of stressful months. And then I took then, um, I had decided then around about sort of the 12th to just sort of close down the website and go, right, okay, I'm just going on to holiday mode here. I'm closing the checkout until, you know, sort of everything starts to, because the, everything was just bottlenecked basically in the post and still is, you know, it's it's starting to move slightly, but, um, and I was like, I'm not adding any more to this because I don't want any more on top of what I am already trying to sort out. And, um, so yeah, so I, I closed it, and the day that I closed the website, I took like a, <clears throat> I didn't know if it was a really bad chest infection or whatever, um, but yeah, it was, um, it just settled just right in my, just right into my chest. And so that was in the start of antibiotics, steroids, and all sorts of things to try and get that lifted because I do have respiratory issues anyway. And as is so yeah so um i wanted to get that cleared really quickly and then i had lots of family coming over um, at christmas so um i knew that i needed to be you know i didn't want to sit and wait and sort of try and wait this one out because that's what steve had done he's one of these people who's like no no i'll just sit and wait it out um and uh you know i'll kind of get over it myself but 
my system, I think we all know our own bodies and mine needs help. It just doesn't, it, it just needs help, you know, but I think that's because of some other underlying health things, but that I'll not bore you with. Um, but anyways, so, so basically I think November, December, I think the cons of it all was definitely the Royal Mail strikes. That was just, that threw everything asunder. Um, had to close, had to close down over Christmas first year. I've done that there too, you know, and that has such a big effect. It has a big effect on your income. It has a big effect that you feel so guilty, um, you know, and you feel so guilty that people, you know, are waiting so, so long on their parcels. I remember one point just breaking down and just crying, sitting at my kitchen table. And, you know, it was just, it was getting just too much, you know, um, so, yeah, it's been a it's been a journey, but sort of yeah, the cons and that there were so many people unwell. I think there was viruses, bugs everywhere, and uh, yeah, our house had had um, had got it as well too. Um, and I think as well with Christmas there is this sort of kind of like pressure of of perfectionism, you know. And I don't know if that maybe comes from watching films, Christmas films, and or, you know, adverts and the whole aesthetic of it, but it really becomes um, this kind of like, this pressure sits upon your shoulders to kind of have everything perfect in a way. And um, it just doesn't always, it just doesn't work out like that, you know? Um, and I and it's not for me, bizarrely enough, I think it's more for other people. Um, you know, you, you just, you want it to be absolutely amazing for everyone else. I don't care. I don't care about myself. I just want everyone else to have the best of time. So, um, yeah, but the, the, the pros of it all as well, you know, um, over the season have been definitely, um, you know, lots of family time, chatting with you guys over that whole stressful period. Um, and it's still kind of ongoing. But, um, you know, just chatting with you guys, seeing your comments, enjoying the advent, watching, you know, both Kelly and Natalie's videos as well too, that distraction. It has just been so lovely. Um, so also as well too, um, you know, there's been other things as well going on, which has been brilliant. I had a fantastic Christmas with the family, done some lovely things. There was a carol service in our church, which was just beautiful it was um sort of carols by candlelight and you know it was really like low light and very calm chilled and some of my favorite carols were just being sung there so um i had the best night it was just so beautiful our church is quite big so and um, it was split over two nights so it was a saturday night and a sunday night and we went on the saturday night and um uh, we just went in and just this whole atmosphere was just it was just so lovely and calming and warm and and just so inviting and it just felt like I was inside like a wee bubble and um, it was just like a wee bubble just just it was so lovely and warm and everybody was just you know and listening to the carols and it's just it was just gorgeous so I thoroughly enjoyed that and some of the services as well too um, that was really 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 nice and um that for me for me personally that is um you know that is christmas that feel um loving the church atmosphere and just sort of celebrating all of that you know the birth of jesus and everything that comes with all those elements of christmas so i really really enjoyed that um, and that was really lovely and um yeah um i was able to um you know uh, do some nail art and things like that there and also on the grip see all you guys Christmas nails over in the Facebook group. People have been posting loads of Christmas nails and they've just been oh, beautiful, love them. Um, so that's been really inspiring, seeing people having fun with their decals and glitter and nail art and all sorts of bits and pieces. It's just been really uplifting. So, um, so yeah, so that has been really, really nice. Um, and then moving forward, kind of updating ahead, as to sort of what's going to be happening in 2023. Um, I'm really looking forward to getting the website open again and getting everything back to normal. 
and you know hoping and praying that these strikes just all calm down and that everything gets sorted that would be amazing i have some new goodies as well that i'm going to be putting on the website very shortly um and um whenever new stock because i'm i've been waiting weeks and weeks and weeks on stock um when that comes in and um i can get that updated at some point i do want to do a um, seal but that could be on down the line because um you know by the time the stock comes in i have to get all that done and sorted and all um so there's all that sort of side of things all the businessy side of things and i'm looking forward to new decals coming in i love my decals and also a big exciting thing is i really am intrigued by um a sort of full cover gel tip kind of system so i've been looking at a few systems and um I've been making some inquiries and having a chat to some of my admin ladies over in Neil Sugar who use, um, you know, that kind of a system and um, they have been so helpful. Um, so I think I might try a new system. Um, so I'm really excited about that. It seems to be um, super easy peasy and probably give me more time to focus on nail art um which is what i love and i love the structure and all that there don't get me wrong in the prep i adore prep absolutely adore prep i think filing is probably the one thing that i least enjoy of all is filing so the good thing is with the full cover gel tips that's kind of going to eliminate that so um there's just a lot of boxes being ticked with this so i'm quite excited um, about that does that mean that i will be um you know leaving hard gel or absolutely not i adore my hard gel i love it um i have my bling line that's the, the brand i use and i absolutely adore it um it's beautiful gel and it is immensely good for um people with allergies because the lady who developed that um uh, has got a lot of allergies herself um uh, you know, uh, towards a lot of products. So um, it's just, it's amazing. It really is. So no, I love that. Um, I won't be dropping hard gel. And then on a personal level, my dad, he's going to be moving home. So I'm super excited for him. Lovely new house he's moving into. Um, and my brother as well. Um, hoping to see more family. Um, I don't have any New Year's resolutions. I tend to not make new year's resolutions because in the past i've made them and then i don't follow them through so i kind of tend not to bother with that but i want to show you guys something <coughs> um my hubby had bought me this here for christmas and um i just thought it was really good it's a social media content planner and um i will link it below because um it's from the perfectplannerco.com and um, it's really good. It's very, very simple. Um, whenever you open it up, it is double page spread and you can kind of just like sort of put all your bits and pieces to plan for various things like Facebook, Instagram Lives, weekly topic, awareness days, promotions, advertising your personal Facebook, um, your Instagram grid, the stories, etc etc and um, i'm more of a facebook girl as most of my admin team know um kelly and sarah are just they're incredible at instagram they're just they they, they are so good kelly usually uploads um some content and sarah usually sort of monitors everything and keeps everything kind of flowing admin wise and she sort of you know they're, they're just they're amazing and um, i would be lost without them um you know so but I thought it would sort of like, you know, help getting into getting a wee bit sort of more confident and stuff like that there. Um, I'm planning things out. I am not a TikTok. I like TikTok. I love watching TikTok. But I'm definitely, you know, I'm just about sort of like getting used to Instagram. I don't know if TikTok is my kind of thing. But anyways, um, baby steps, right? Baby steps. Right. I'm going to leave this here. I've been talking for over 20 minutes. Wow. Um, so I am going to leave this here, guys. Listen, I just wanted to wish you all a really 
happy new year. I hope you are having the, just a lovely time, whether it be with friends, family, or just a quiet one, you know, regardless, um, just enjoy, enjoy. And I just want to wish you all a really happy 2023. Thank you so much for joining along with me on this journey and for always being so supportive and for your, your comments, for the giggles, for just the chatter. Um, you are all amazing and you really don't have any idea how much um, you all mean. You really do uplift me on days that are and have been such a struggle. Um, so thank you. You don't you, you don't see that obviously, you know, behind the scenes and and it's just so uplifting. So all your, you know, just all your encouragement means so much. So thank you, honestly. Um, so yes, just have a good one. Enjoy. If you have made it this far, thank you. I cannot believe you've sat through 22 minutes of me just waffling. Um, but I just wanted to chat with you guys because it has been a month and it's overdue. So I'm going to go now and I'm going to get a nice warm drink. I am going to rest my throat and my chest for another wee bit. Um, but uh, yeah, just have a good one, guys. And I will be back very soon with some more nail art. And yeah, let me know everything you've been doing in the comments below. Just, you know, um, what you've been up to and just say hello. I love reading all your comments. So just, yeah. Um, leave me a little hello. I would love to hear from you. Anyway, have a good one, guys. Enjoy, and I will be back soon. Mwah. Bye.